Eddie Rubskin here, and, uh, you know, 2019 is not quite over yet. Uh, there's actually still a couple of movies to look forward to, so that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the movies that still have yet to come out in 2019 that are noteworthy, right? They're noteworthy movies that still have yet to come out. Not that I'm saying these movies are really good, or even that I'm all that interested in, but uh, they are noteworthy. And, and this month, in September, we actually have... Two movies that are kind of interesting. We get It Chapter 2, right? Which is the second half of the adaptation of the book It, right? Yeah, they actually uh, broke the book into two movies, right? So, and this is It Chapter 2. This is the second part. In fact, they're going to be doing that with the fucking Dune book, right? Yeah, Dune. The best-selling science fiction novel of all time. They're actually going to break that into two different movies, right? Just like they did with It. And, uh, you know, it, it Chapter 2 actually looks kind of interesting. I might see it. This is it. Hello. No. No. Please. It Chapter 2, rated R. All right. We also got uh, Rambo, Last Blood, is opening this fucking month, right? Uh, and I'm not really interested in that, even though I do like a good Rambo movie, right? But Rambo, Last Blood, I don't know. I don't really fucking care. Plus, the title's stupid. I mean, I mean, the first movie was First Blood, so the last one's gonna be Last Blood. I, what, what, whatever, whatever. Yeah, and th then in October, we're gonna get more movies. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get The Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah. And uh, everybody's saying good things about it so far, you know? Uh, the early reviews are saying that it's fucking great. Joaquin turns in a fucking incredible performance, you know? Probably the best of his career. And, uh, you know, I was kind of joking about this Joker movie, calling it The Woker, because it's Joaquin as the Woker or whatever. But it honestly does look pretty fucking good, you know? And, uh, yeah, I'll probably fucking see this movie. We're also getting an Adam's Family movie, yeah, an animated Adam's Family, which is probably the best bet, you know, you know, back in the 90s they had like a live action Adam's Family, but, you know, I don't want to see them do that shit again, so animated is probably the best route to take with the Adam's Family, but, you know, I don't really fucking care, I'm not gonna fucking see it, so... I don't give a shit. Gustin, you made it! Also getting fucking Maleficent 2, the sequel to Mal Maleficent, the movie where, you know, Angelina Jolie played the evil witch from Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, we're getting a sequel to that. Whatever the fuck. What? Uh, we're also getting Zombie Land 2. Which actually looks pretty good, you know? We got the whole cast is back, Woody Harrelson's back, that's fucking awesome. And, uh, I don't know, it looks kind of funny. Maybe it'll be as good as the first movie. I really do like the original Zombie Land. If it's even half as good as that, you know, that's pr pretty fucking good. Light him up! And we're getting Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Yeah. The reboot of Jay and Silent Bob. Well, it's not actually a reboot, no. But there's a reboot within the movie. They're rebooting Blunt Man and Chronic, which is a co comic based on them, right? And uh, it's going to be a dark, gritty reboot. And, you know, just like the other movie, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, they were going to Hollywood to stop them from making a movie about Blunt Man and Chronic. Now they're going to Hollywood to stop fucking Hollywood from rebooting Blunt Man and Chronic. So, whatever. It doesn't look very good. No. You guys have no idea there's a new comic book movie being made of the old comic book movie you two are the basis for. That old ass star studded piece of shit, that movie sucked balls. Yeah, I mean, in, in the movie, you know, uh, Kevin Smith's daughter, Harley Quinn Smith, <laughs> yeah, he named his daughter after Harley Quinn. He named his daughter after a fucking Batman character. <sighs> but anyway, his daughter is actually playing. Um, Jay's daughter, right? Yeah, she's playing the daughter of Jay, who uh, is actually named after a Star Wars reference, right? In the movie, her name is Millennium Falcon, right? And that's supposed to be funny. It's funny that, you know, uh, you know, she, they named the girl after a Star Wars reference. 
Well, yeah, that's fucking stupid. But it's only slightly more stupid than naming your daughter after a fucking Batman reference. The fuck? Really? Yeah, they... Yeah, anyway, they're moving on to November. We got some more movies opening up in November. We got Terminated Dark Fate, which I've already talked about. I think it looks fucking stupid. Man, we really don't need any fucking more terrible Terminator movies. We're also getting a Charlie's Angels movie. Yet another Charlie's Angels movie. Now we have a new cast of girls as a team. And I couldn't give two fucks. Also, Frozen 2, the sequel to Frozen. I've never actually seen the original Frozen. I don't give a fuck about Frozen. Uh, nope. And then we got the movie with Mr. Rogers, right? Movie with Tom Hanks is playing Mr. Rogers. Yeah. Yeah, and I understand why they got Tom Hanks to play Mr. Rogers. Tom Hanks is like the Hollywood nice guy. He's like the nicest guy in Hollywood. And and he seems to be on a mission to play, like, every American legend, right? Every modern American legend. He already played fucking Walt Disney in a movie. Now he's playing Mr. Rogers. But uh, I don't think he's quite right for Mr. Rogers. I mean, yeah, he's a safe bet as far as the casting, but I don't think he does the voice of Mr. Rogers or really captures Mr. Rogers' essence quite right. I think they would have been better off with, like, a, a lesser-known actor that actually nailed it, right, that looked the part and... Sounded the part, but no. M m m fucking, m m fucking Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers. That's a safe casting bet, right? Please won't you be my neighbor? That was wonderful. Then in December, well, we're, we're getting that Jumanji movie. A sequel to the Jumanji movie with The Rock. We're getting another one of those. Excited about that? I'm not. No. And we're getting Star Wars Episode Nine: The Rise of Skywalker. I'm not really excited about that either. But I think it's funny that the cats, the fucking musical cats with the weird-looking fucking CGI fucking cat people, that movie's actually going to be opening the same day as Star Wars Episode Nine. Wait, right? you really think <laughs> that you have a chance, you fucking cats movie? <laughs> opening the same day as Star Wars? Really? Well, good luck. Good luck with that. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's a list of the fucking noteworthy movies of 2009 that I still have yet to open. And frankly, they're, they're, it's all regurgitated shit. It's all recycled shit, you know? Got another Zombieland movie, got another Terminator movie, we got the fucking Joker, you know? Adam's Family, Charlie's Angels, fucking... It's all recycled garbage, you know? Even a Mr. Rogers movie, well, it is a fucking original idea for a movie. It's, it's not really. It's, it's based on Mr. Rogers. And frankly, because that Mr. Rogers fucking documentary from the other year did really well at the box office, they're like, hey, Mr. Rogers is box office gold, right? Maybe. But, what? There was nothing original under the sun, man. N n nothing fucking original. It's, it's all recycled crap. It's all based on something else, it's based on a TV show, or a video game, or a cartoon, or some old guy from PBS. It's weird. But, I don't know, what do you guys fucking think? Write me a comment down below, and until fucking next time, keep it fucking real.